what's up you guys we're back with another glam by trish and adam mm, i teach adam everything he knows more of me than her <laughs> literally just you <laughs> and me just sitting here um yeah actually i haven't even posted i posted to kylie one day i haven't even posted our last week of tours i have no idea if these do good they may do like not good and people just don't care um <laughs> but i care and i love to get some makeup on my face so and we love doing this we love doing it i do i love i feel like it's fun Check out Adam Lee Simmons on you Instagram. <laughs> he does some cool looks. Um, They're pretty basic, <laughs> actually. Yeah, but people like basic. But today we're not doing a basic one, so I know a lot of people like mm -hmm. like simple makeup. But my go-to, and I kind of love it because everyone thinks it's tacky and trashy, so no one does it except for me now, is the classic 1990s Playmate, like Pamela Anderson. Like every Playmate had a smoky eye and the mm -hmm. new lip and the big hair, and that's what I personally feel sexy in. Like if I was going to go on the Tonight Show Jimmy Fallon, this is the look I would do. True, and it's exciting because it's the first time we're doing the hair tutorial. Yes, <laughs> which is uh, we just got back from Maui and my hair is like kind of a little like all over the place and not in the best condition right now and my extensions need to come out so it's gonna be a challenge. So if it looks good, then that's. But this is what usually happens. Is usually we have to overcome <laughs> these challenges. Yes. So it's cool and it's cool because it's blackout smoke. I feel like when we have no look. It's like our go-to. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When in doubt. Or when I want to feel smoke. confident. If I'm like going somewhere important, True. I'm like, this is my go-to. Like, maybe like him later. Like a meeting, an important meeting. <laughs> I, like, I do. Can you black out smoke <laughs> for noon? Actually, me though. <laughs> and Adam does hair and makeup, which I personally like because I used to hire like a hair and a makeup person, and like one wouldn't show up, and like you look crazy if you just have like beautiful makeup and no hair, True. or if you have hair and no makeup. Like, you look insane, and people are just not reliable in LA. Oh my god, I could go on a whole tangent on how flaky hair and makeup people are. In fact, I hate hair and makeup people the most in Gosh. LA, except for you. I'm like Adam, huh? I'm Orange County. You are right, so that's why you're not as flaky. And honestly, like that's why I'll never get rid of Adam. Like he'll be the one to leave me. So if one day you see Adam not doing my hair and makeup, it's because of him leaving me and not because I'm me leaving him. Just or because I wasn't there. available that day. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> Me just putting all the to do a bride? <laughs> when people leave my life, I'm like, what happened to this person? It's their fault. <laughs> okay, anyways. All right, well, we all have right. hair and makeup, and um, we'll start with some high energy, and we'll see how it ends. It's going to be great. You ready? Yeah. Let's get into the video. <laughs> that was good! All right, so usually when we do Pam hair, I always start off with her hair. I'll prep her hair. Pin set it up, we'll do makeup, and then we'll come back and take out the hair. So I'm gonna show you guys that today. It's really simple, just section the hair. All I'm doing is curling and pin setting. Just curling, I mean. Should we face that way or no? Or can you see? Because your hair looks crazy in the back. <laughs> so this is all I do, just curl the hair while it's still hot. Oh, yeah, well maybe when we go to the front you should like actually show because honestly I have no idea. Like how you actually curl it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's always how I want to, I always want to know what to do. Cool, I'll show you. Okay. By the way, I already did prime her hair. I used um, the L'Oreal Low Dry Quick Dry Primer Spray. We're not getting paid, <laughs> I know, why don't I get any, now that I'm a beauty girl, I need sponsorships. And I feel like because this hair is so kind of Wild? Would you say wild? It's kind of yeah. like big and wild. It doesn't even really matter which direction you curl the hair. Just curl all the hair. Different directions, going left, going right. I think it looks nicer in different directions because like when you curl it, like I always curl it the same direction when I curl my hair and then it all comes into one curl. True. Yeah. So switch it up. Keep Look, them guessing. I'm a hair tutorial person too. I can give it directions. <laughs> stupid. <laughs> I used to do hair tutorials. Oh my god, I have a, oh my god, I have a Pamela Anderson hair and makeup tutorial on my channel. You guys compare the two, see who's is better, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> I curled my hair and did the smoky eye and everything. Really? How long ago was that? Oh my god, probably like eight years ago. So funny. I followed Pixie Wu's tutorial. Pixie Wu did a Pamela Anderson. Do you remember her? She no. was she did those real technique brushes and now she's gonna have to do YouTube because she like has a billionaire off those brushes. Really? Oh she she, she started those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even the sponges? Yeah, those all the real techniques. That's, that's her brand. Wow. Good job, Michelle Fawn and all those people who became billionaires and never could do YouTube again. Here I am, just still. Michelle Fawn just does it for fun, huh? She doesn't do it. She I hasn't like posted she does... in two years. I think you burned me one time. Yeah, that was a bad morning, remember? <laughs> Why? I don't know, it's just like, I wasn't feeling it. I was really hungry <laughs> that day. <laughs> Just burning everything. See, that's why I ate a croissant today because Brand I was pieces. feeling grumpy. I was real grumpy and I was like, you know what, Trish, you just better go eat something because <laughs> I was like in a bad, bad mood this morning. I was going to cancel everything. I was just so annoyed and I was like, oh, these are fun. I like doing them. I know I feel good like once I get here and start doing it. True. And then once you're glam, you feel productive. Oh. Just watch out world when I'm glam. 
Hide your man. Hide your man, hide your woman. Hide your kids. Hide your kids. No, no. <laughs> Not there. <laughs> Too far. Okay, we'll cut that out. Huh? Oh, so we'll cut that out. Me digging through your hair. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just the rattiness. But I buy it. I buy everyone's merch, so. <laughs> What's your favorite merch? Mine, Trisha's stuff. Trisha Land. <laughs> I love my merch. I don't know. Like, I'm sorry. I maybe it's biased. But, like, I think my merch is a biased by anybody. It's like, I'm like, mine is cute. I, and I buy everybody's. I buy literally every YouTuber's merch just because I think it's, like, cool to be like, look at me representing this YouTuber. If I had merch, would you buy it? Yeah, I buy it literally everybody's. Like, when I say everybody's, like, people that people never even heard of, I, like, buy their merch because it's funny. I think it's like, I don't know. And then when people see it, they're like, oh, that's fucking weird. You can't cuss. I cut out. No, there's a song called Damn I Look Good that I never did a video for, and I always want to do a video for it, and it's like really like gets you going. Would it's you like, still do a video for it, even though it's older? I mean, the guy who wrote it, the guy who does all my songs with me, like he loves, that's his favorite. Like he'll always play it on his Instagram story when he's at the gym, like that's his favorite. I do, but I think I want to be like, I want to be thin when I do that video because I want to be like Britney's like work bitch kind of, but I want to look good because the video is about like fucking, I look good, you know what I mean? Like that's like the whole thing. So I always wanted to, so maybe. But I like doing new music to like relate to what I feel like in the moment. True. Do you feel like your music now is a good representation of how you feel? Yeah. Really? Yeah, otherwise I want to do the videos, like especially the last one, like Machine My Sheet, like, I miss you when. I love that song. What do you your sheets? What do you mean? Who do I miss my sheets? Isn't it obvious? Hello? No. Nothing's obvious. Well, that's the mystery of it, isn't it? True. <laughs> the beauty of YouTube, everything's a mystery. <laughs> Nothing's a mystery of me. <laughs> Guess who? Guess who I'm talking about? I can't say who, but I recently had this like big celebrity <laughs> want to collab with me. <laughs> and then like, cancel. I feel like that's me always. Like if somebody wants to collab with me, and I get really excited about it, I, like that's why I don't really tell people, because I feel like everyone just cancels. Like they like the idea of me until they like deep dig more into me and they're like, ooh, never mind, we don't want to collab with this person. Really? I don't I can't think of someone besides Anna Chris Smith who's dead now, but like I can't think of anyone else who would like want to collab with me as like me. Do you think Anna Nicole Smith would have? Yeah, for sure. Well sure. I think so too. It's so hard though, because sometimes you hear like women don't like, you know, like don't want to be around other women. Yeah. You think she was one of those? Was she like a woman's woman? She seemed a girl's like girl, it. I mean? She seemed like it because she had like a girl assistant and she seemed like it. Yeah. I feel that way because I know I don't really like girls unless I feel like they would be my friend. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there are some like Instagram girls, for instance, not like little ones, but like big Instagram models. I'm like, oh, they can tell they just don't like. Actually, I know somebody. She's older, but I know someone who definitely doesn't like to be around with females, and I like her. But because I know that, I was like, oh man. It makes them. Does it make them less like likable? Yeah. I'm literally everyone's like, who is more attractive to me? Like I haven't met one person like everyone's more attractive to me, and I was like, how are you so pretty? And I like a troll. And it makes me, it gives me validation because like pretty girls did not like me in high school. I was like, oh my God, like people like me, girls like me. So it makes me really happy. And the celebrity who wanted to collab with me was a female and I was very excited about it. I was mm. like, oh. But I'm just gonna think it's probably just like backlash and not me. I feel like people just have an idea of me and I'm not a really good person. Or she just got sick. <laughs> yeah, or she's like a big superstar and probably busy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, you always me. The absolute worst. I know. I, I take everything personally. If someone's like, "Oh, well, like, do it again next week," and I like flip out, I'm like, "No, you hate me." They found out. <laughs> no, I don't like that. You should make a song about shrimp scampi. Mm, that sounds like a good idea. The scampi rhymes with camping. And trampy. Trampy, that's a good one. I like my shrimp scampi, and I like to look like a trampy because I love. Chewy candy. Chewy candy? Chewy candy. I love eating candy, but not as much as shrimp scampi. No, not a bop. See me around and I'll eat your shrimp scampi. Eat your shrimp scampi. Um, eat your shrimp scampi. Um. I don't think anyone would want to refer anything on their body as a shrimp scampi. <gasps> I'm gonna make that song now! <laughs> I'll eat your shrimp scampi. It's not about chicken sandwiches too, but I don't know how to make it a bop. Oh my god, we really wanted those Jesus sandals. My mom looked them up online. We're like, we want those shoes now. Oh man, I gotta go back. Did she get them? They're on Amazon. Are they? Yeah. Are those it though? Yeah, they are. They're cheap, right? Like 12 bucks? Yeah. 
Because in Hawaii, they're real cheap. They're like not even 10 bucks. I know, but like it's so much funner to get stuff in Hawaii. Like, yeah. like I we saw that girl wearing because I saw you. I was like, oh, they look good, but they look, yeah, I thought they were for men. So I was like, mm. and then I saw her wearing it with her dress. I was like, oh shoot. Need those. Needs. When I write to someone else wearing something, it validates it for me. All right. So after we have her whole head curled, easy as you guys can see, there was no real like intention with the the party. I just kind of curled little pieces, probably like one inch size pieces, I'm just gonna spray it all just so it can kind of sit, settle, cool down while we do her face. <laughs> then, once her face is done, we'll come back, style it. Wow. Let's get to the video. Oh my God, we're already You're, in the I video. Don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get into this video. <laughs> Keep watching. Even from a real YouTuber. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. This look is really easy. I feel like people think this look is so hard. It's all about just blending, but the eyes is like, it's black and then it blends into brown. You know what I mean? Does it? Yeah. You use brown shadow? Yeah, and I'll show you guys. It's really easy. It's just like that transition shape. But just like always, I always like to start off with the brows. I like thin brows. Like I don't like thick. Like people be thickening brows up these days. And Pam had like pencil thin eyebrows. She also had like super like brown high eyebrows, huh? Oh my God, I don't think my eyebrows. You should have. Glue down your brows today. Whenever I get waxed, like my brows waxed, I'm always like, can you make them really thin? No. And they don't really get it. Yeah. yeah. Like actual. We did pretty thin brows in, in Hawaii, huh? Yeah, I love that. I know we did too thick. So just like last time, guys, this is the Benefit Goop Proof Pencil in number one. Is this what you always use? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, usually what I use. Just because it's not too dark, it's kind of like the hair color. I'm sorry, the color of your brows are ready, so. You can sponsor by them. They don't go on trips anymore, do they? Tart does, but. I think they do, it's just probably not as often. I mean, you should be making so much money to take all those people. Someone's in the Maldives now, like a beauty company took a bunch of influencers to the Maldives. I was like, ugh, me. All right, so we're gonna take a little bit of Kylie Cosmetics concealer. This is in Pine Nut. Mm. What a fun name. What a name. So now we're just gonna carve out the brow, which I know is a little cringeworthy to some people. Why? I don't know, it's just, cause they look so crisp and stuff. Some people don't like that. But I feel like this also helps with making them a little bit thinner, you know? Still sell Broncos? Um, like the animal? Like the car? Yeah. No, I yeah. shut Like newer models? I don't think they've made a new model of a Bronco in a while. I could be wrong though. You want a Bronco? Yeah. I will take the doors off of it. And then just be like, oh, Jason. No. <laughs> That's what my mom said too. I was like, why are you gonna kill somebody? I'm like, why don't you just get a Wrangler like the one in Hawaii? No, I like a Bronco. What car are you gonna trade in? None. Okay. Just keep adding to the collection. I'm gonna steal the Lambo one day. Good luck. How long have we been saying that? I know. Oh, I know. That was just like not a comfortable drive. Don't buy a Lamborghini. Why? Anybody. They're just not comfortable. But they're so nice. They're so annoying. They're like not fun. Have you ridden, is that the right word? Ridden? Ridden. Have you ridden in a newer one? Like the 19s? Yeah. Are they still like? Do you think they've yeah they've not gotten better? No, they're uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Feels like they're just sitting on an engine. Some people are into that. Not me. Everything's a thing. What I like to do when someone's doing makeup is look them directly in the eyes. Don't do that. <laughs> don't ever do that. If you're getting your makeup done, don't look at your makeup artist in the eye. I love looking at someone straight in the eyes. When they're doing your lips, you're just like. She knows I hate that. <laughs> I think it's so funny. She'll be talking, be like, don't look at me. <laughs> Stop looking at me. Stoops. Um, cool. Yeah. Love the cross. Thanks. We love Jesus. We got a new Jesus music video coming soon. 
Do you have a title? Yeah, but I can't say it. It's such a good title. Just say it. No, it's bomb. Can you say it for us? It's gonna come out soon. Ricky, we gotta go back on my dad's church. <laughs> it's like an hour and a half away. In so far. No, it's even further. It's in, well, it's technically Wildemar. Oh, shoot, that far? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's quick. I mean, it only takes like an hour. It's just me in a church. Prancing around the piano. Pretending to play. That video is iconic. People will love I Love You Jesus. I'm just gonna use the rest of this concealer that's on my wrist and just kind of use it to prime a little bit. You don't need to go all the way down. Tell me why my ugly pictures always do better on Instagram than my pretty ones. If I like to take an ugly ass picture of me, people are like, like. So now, with this Hello Flawless powder, I usually like to do this just to kind of set everywhere I just primed. I feel like it also helps with the transition colors to blend better. But I won't do it too much on the lid because we are going to black that out. It's dark as her heart. Okay, maybe my lingerie, not my heart. Cool. I'm Whatever light. works. I'm pure of heart. So the easiest thing to do, I feel like, to black it out is to use a really dark, like black gel liner. This one is Inglot number 77. That's the one that everyone uses. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my brush and then just kind of lightly, well not lightly, black. <laughs> Very light. Coat the lid. Don't want to go too high because you want to use that to kind of blend out. And then using kind of like the edge of the brush to put a lighter application at the edges so it's easier to blend out when it open. Wow, so it's black. So, it's so relaxing. I don't know why this like motion is like relaxing. Like this pouncing, dotting motion. It almost feels like someone's trying to put you to sleep. Like, oh, good night, good night, good night. It feels so good. Like your anesthesiologist. Yeah, it's like this weird. Sensation. Yeah, I love it. Just trying to complete all your sentences. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Brother, sister over here. Oh. Going to open? So I usually like to go right above where her crease would be so you can still see the black when her eyes are open. You guys can see that? It's right above. Also for this look with the black, I usually like to keep it sort of a round eye instead of like a wing. Because then we'll go with the wing with the transition colors. These videos are actually just for Trish so that Trish can go <laughs> back and watch them and try to do them herself. Can I say actually Not for though? anyone else. No, for real though. Because like one day when I get my life together and I have a place to put makeup and stuff, like I'm going to start doing my makeup again. But right now, I live in an actual warehouse just no, full of don't. crap. Like all oh, luxury. It, yeah, it was luxury before I moved in with all my crap and my hoarder. I just keep ordering clothes. And they just, you haven't seen Glamour lately. There's just a stack, ton of clothes in there. You want to look but I'd like to do my makeup and like watching tutorials will help me, but it's just not happening anytime soon. So in true Trisha form, she makes her own tutorials. <laughs> Instead of just watching ones that might be out there already. No, I gotta see my face, my eyelid. And I That's still won't be able to copy it. I still won't be able to, there's no way. I tried, I've gotten lessons from me make for in the past and I'm still like, I don't get it. So confusing. With a black or a really dark gray shadow, I'm just gonna set that cream liner. I usually like to use like Anastasia brow powders. I feel like they're waterproof. They I set really nice. Yeah. So I use the color granite just to set that cream. When are we gonna be invited to an Anastasia party? Do you do you get invited? Um I've gone up no, I've gone as plus one to her Halloween parties. Mm. So now with the light brown shadow, I'm just gonna use this to start her transition. What's the shadow? <laughs> Me just trying to figure it out. Huh. The Dose of Color Frontage. I love this. Such a versatile palette. So I'm going to use this like beige ish color. Why would they name that? One is called Dirty Money and one's called Churro. <laughs> oh, so Dirty Money is this green one. Uh, and I think this one's Churro. Why is those names? Who names these? That's a weird name. Um, Anna, probably. The who, the woman who owns it? Yeah. Um, Anna, I love Dose of Colors. You're my favorite. Can we collab? Oh, I would name them all after like celebrities I love, like Anna, Pamela, Brittany. Like Brit, like Anna would have blue shadow, Pam would be a black shadow, Brittany would be like a or like a neutral shadow. Like I feel like. Who else would you like? Weird Al. 
Oh yeah, I'm 22. The 22. <laughs> Marilyn Manson. Sugar Ray. Oh. There's now I'm just using a makeup wipe to kind of clean up any skunkiness. I was gonna say fallout. Sure. I was gonna say it for you. Say. Fallout boy. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're in Snapfire. Oh. Do you remember that scene where they're like, you love this? Yeah. Like, this is also Dose of Colors. This is a really nice black liner. These are their new liners. And this one is in Caviar. Ooh. Say Caviar. Caviar. By Dose of Colors. I love Dose of Colors. Sand is my favorite. Yeah, you do. She's always loved that. <laughs> you always talk about sand. I know, it's so basic, but I love it so much. So I'm just using this in her waterline, a little bit outside of her lash line as well. Just to really make that black as day. Mm. Is that a term? Yeah. Ooh, I feel so pretty already. I like it because it makes me feel like a pirate. Yeah. I love Captain Jack Sparrow. Just running this up in there. Banging around her eye like a bull in a china shop. And this is the, my part that I can never do. Like every makeup artist that hasn't done my makeup before is like, whoa, your eyes are freaking out. I'm like, sorry. No, it's like a butterfly on crack. <laughs> and I, I got my makeup done, I get it done so many times for the past 10 years and I still can't keep it open. I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like, so weird. I love you with the flash extensions. No. I hate it. Mm, you look like cute. farm girl, uh, Trisha again. Like Midwest Farm Girl Church. Back to the roots. Like that. Should I do a music video about Boca de Pueblo? We love that. We love that. Oh look, he's nodding too. You like Boca? Wow. We love the boobs. That just gave me inspiration for Big ZD and Fettuccine Alfredo and Spaghetti and Meatballs and Garlic Bread. Let's have that for lunch. Oh my god, that sounds so freaking bomb. Or actually like an Airbnb mansion and just be eating Boca de Pueblo like everywhere and never in the house. Boca in the bedroom. Boca in the bathroom. Buka on the toilet. Ooh, what just came out? More buka in the toilet. Ew! <laughs> disgusting. Buka sees me for like not huh. being sick. No, what I'm do you prefer, buka or Olive Garden? Buka! Because it has big ZD and fettuccine alfredo. So does Olive Garden? No, it's not good though like that. I mean, Olive Garden's good. I love Olive Garden. I don't think it's better than buka. Buka gives you big portions. It's more authentic. There's a buka right by my house and I like never eat there. Because I have this other Italian place that's really bomb. Oh yeah. But buka is like, it has a different taste to it, which is what I like. I'm just stacking some regular... <sighs> stacking bags. I just gotta get those bags, because I'm in a bag unit, you know what I'm saying? Looking good so far. Your eyes look really icy. That's what I'm saying, I think the black needs some more blue. Stupid. There's a playmate from the 1990s that sent me an email, and the, the topic literally was like, 1990s playmate wants to meet you. I don't remember her though. It was so funny. I think I still have it. Let's see if I can find it. Literally, it was like yesterday. Oh, look, see? I don't want to you the thing, but 90s Playboy Playmate wants to meet you. Stupid. I'm a 90s. Like, what is that? <laughs> She's legit though. Mm -hmm. But like, I don't remember her. And also, like, her spread doesn't even look like a real spread. Like, it, it does show up to her, her name, but I was like, it doesn't even look like a Playboy spread. I'm going to start emailing people. 29 year old Simone <laughs> wants to meet you. <laughs> wants to work with you. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so funny. I guess Craigslist is like not a thing, it's all scams now. When I first moved to LA, like Craigslist was like yeah, where you found everything. everything. Yeah. Like work, makeup artists, like if you were looking for work as like a television person, like a random dresser. Ran yeah, rent. Like even meeting people, like I remember I put out like looking for people to meet and it was like totally legit. And now I guess it's all people to meet. <laughs> yeah, I totally did. <laughs> I used to I used to go on like woman looking for male, like W4M, like I and like to make friends. Yeah, but like it wasn't weird. I met people off there, so I. I you did meet people. Yeah. Oh, this is the Scandinavia makeup primer spray. Oh yeah, it stayed. Yeah, and it's oil free, so it's really nice, especially because Trish has oily skin. Mm -hmm. so this is a really nice primer, and it's easy to spray. These have been really nice on Trisha's skin. These are the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundations. So I usually mix two. This one to give a little bit more warmth. She also got a nice little tan in Maui. I know. I thought they didn't get any sun, and then I was looking at it, I was like, oh. Funny. Also, like, how is that makeup still on? I've like scrubbed, what? showered, like even on my legs, I've shaved, I've shaved. Look at that. I shaved like, like I every said, day. I feel like it was because <laughs> you had just shaved, <laughs> so it was like fresh pores. But self tanner that's meant to stay on doesn't even see. It literally comes off the next day. Like I don't understand how this is still on. And you swore by it. <laughs> I did swear by it, and then I was kind of over it, and now I was kind of like, okay. I 
feel like if you mix it with uh, I think a moisturizer, it'll look nice, huh? I, I think that's what he did. So I was like trying to think, and I was like, I kind of remember him putting my moisturizer. Yeah, because like... it kind of skipped, remember? Like, yeah. When you were, like, on <laughs> I was like, oh, I think I did that wrong. <laughs> Using the IT Cosmetics bro. Oh, I love the Cosmetics. I like their CC. Oh, yeah. They also have like a color corrector, like a, I forgot what it's called, but it's a real good so There's a lot. For some reason, I feel like it's always a little bit easier to buff out creams with a brush than it is with the Beauty Blender. But really? I'm going afterwards with the Beauty Blender and just kind of make sure everything is blended nicely, you know? I used to do it with my hands. <laughs> oh, that's nice too. Oh, whoa! Okay, smells good. Thumbnail. Ew, with this blotch! <laughs> Matt, it's like a thumbnail, like when we're like cute. <laughs> Right under the eyes. I feel like this is the step that makes the eyes pop even more when you lighten under the eyes, you know? Oh, so you put concealer on twice? I didn't put concealer on before. I thought you did. No. Nah. Maybe that's my problem. I think I always put it on before I put on foundation. I mean, everyone has a different routine. It's just how I like to do things. I like the Rihanna Fenty Beauty Contour Sticks. That's what I use. I still haven't tried those. I would love to try those. They're really good. Although, you know, I should just get those because those actually look good too. I like them because they come in a pack and you kind of know what to use, but if I didn't ask you for what colors. Did you say the colors that make it firmer? No, I didn't. Or just for my skin. <laughs> huh. So we used Y405 and Y375. What's the 405? It's a little bit of a darker. You see the top one's a little darker? And that's the whole foundation face. I mix both, so I do half and half. Oh, See, I always need to know what colors I need to get. Mm -hmm. I'm like always so off with coloring, so I'm like actually colorblind, I can't see. All right, so now we're gonna blend in the concealer. Oh my God, you should get that I feel like you can make her look bomb. I feel like you can make her look so good. Oh, thank you. Because I have like older skin too, and like it's just like, I have sun damage, and like all this bad stuff, and I feel like you always, and that's tricky to do. Like someone who has perfect skin, it's so easy to do their makeup, mm -hmm. but someone who has like big pores and like all this shit, like, and aching skin's hard to do. Feeling pretty? Yeah. Good. All that matters. Aww. Right. Who cares about anyone else? Ooh, this is. I still think I'm gonna be a type way, and who has to that? <laughs> I'm literally like, I'm gonna move to that mansion and be his girlfriend. Like, that's in my head still. <laughs> this is the Hello Flawless Ooh, Club Benefit. Full circle, coming back around. Mm -hmm. Set the eyebrows and now set the face. Mm -hmm. I actually, you love so many different things. This I've always used. So nice, huh? Mm -hmm. like, like, I remember the gurus back in the day, like when Michelle Palmer, they would always talk about this powder. Bomb powder. This one is in the shade Petal. Same brand, same everything. I'm gonna use this to kind of set, because it's lighter underneath the eyes. Why is that so little? <laughs> I know, I like to get the travel ones. Why, you're a makeup artist. I know, but I like to travel with these, so I have the full size at home, but. But the full size is little. Yeah, but this is even smaller. Oh, Jeez. Literally the most popular product anybody uses and you have like the tiniest little box of it. Oh. Uh, it just makes it more like... Like the whole brush fits in here. There's, a, there's one they make now that's tanner, right? Or is it lighter? Lighter. lighter. Alright, so this is how we get the snatch nose. I feel like people, even <gasps> though we did it before, mm. people still ask. Okay. So because it's so light, I use the light concealer throughout this entire area. I'm going to take Hula with this JD Wady 180 brush by Luxie Brushes, I believe. And this is when I just carve like a new little baby shape. So as close together as possible, because then we'll go down the center with that highlight. You know what I mean? Mm, and then the ball, or underneath the ball? I go around the ball. I even like cut it shorter. <laughs> I like a short nose. And then using this, I'll also take this and kind of marry all the transition colors so you get that like eagle's wings sort of feel with the brows into the nose, you know? Dab, 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 dab. All right, so we're going to put a little bit of color back into her face using these blushes by The Balm. I love this. Oh, you do, you do. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. smile. Now look up. 
I like to also just kind of bring it all the way in. I feel like it gives like an ombre sort of effect to her roll under eye. Which we like. Bring color. Yeah. Just kind of setting things. Switch to the camera. Just highlighting the inner tear ducts. I love this. This reminds me of Britney Spears. She always had like white in her eyes. And also like a little boop. Now we are using Strip Down, one of our favorites from MAC to line her lips. Nudie, a treaty. I want to say in my Pam Anderson tour, I'm going to look it up. I think I used Strip Down. Yeah, this is like all. This is like iconic. Everyone used this for like a Pam Playmate look. Mm -hmm. It's just enough brown and enough mauve. Smack. More. I'm also gonna add a little bit of coke pour. Okay, it's called drug lord, not coke pour. <laughs> <laughs> looks like coke pour. Huh. On my hand, it looks like white. It looks crazy. Then in the center, just so it's a little bit more nude, more beige. Mm. Looks like powder donut. I love that. <laughs> Every tool fall. I know. <laughs> Five floors up. Our, yeah, like what? <laughs> Just gonna blend this out a little bit more so it's a little smokier. Sorry, you won't be this beautiful because you don't have my face, but you could try. <laughs> but you'll never be me. Sorry, bitch. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> she actually act watches this. <laughs> this is just to reinforce the, the under eyes so they stay kind of bright and nice. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. I love this powder. Mm, what do you think airbrush is about? Right. Yeah. Um, so, the cool thing about this hair, since we already curled it, pin set it, it's already cooled down, it's already ready to go. All I do at the end is kind of just take out the pins row by row. So I'll take out one row near the knee. So the key to this hair, I feel like, is to tease every single section of every single section. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'll tease the root all the way up, and then I'll kind of just lightly take the brush or the comb over the rest of the hair so that it kind of looks like this. You guys will see as I keep going, tease the root first so it has that base underneath, and then lightly just kind of. This is my favorite kind of hair. Like, I love this hair so much. And it lasts. Oh, uh, it lasts. Like, it'll last for a week. Literally, it'll last for a week. It looks so bomb. Uh, I've had these extensions in size for two months now, so this is like. I think they look great still. It, they still look good, but like, I also think like over time your hair just sheds, so like there's less hair in each bond. True. Than there was, but she said, What's your name? Her name is 90210 Extensions. I will say she is very expensive, and like, hmm, I go back and forth because it does take like a minute. She's quick, but they're expensive. And I have to get them done like every six weeks. I'm gonna use my favorite Paul Mitchell Extra Body Finishing Spray. Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. Can I take your order? God, why is that people like that movie now? Like, I'm like, oh, good movie. That's it from the mouth. <laughs> I get so into it. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> and then I take it all off and I'm disgusting. Wow. Yeah, this is Pammy. Sometimes I'll even, like, go back in with the teasing brush and just kind of, like, so none of them look too defined, you know? And she usually does this with her face, like just oh. stupid. <sighs> she always does the, like something is really spicy in her mm, mouth. It's all hot. <laughs> so, so I have no one else. Thanks for funny. So hot. <laughs> what if I'm not funny? You just laugh at me because like you work for me, so you're just like I'm just gonna laugh at your dream though. She's no, I, so I feel like you leave and you're like. No, I don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wouldn't book you. That's true. I do believe that because mm -hmm. you're like that. Mm -hmm. You like ignore certain people, and mm -hmm. I'm just like, okay. Because you're just you're not funny. You're not cool. No vibes. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how we get the Pam look. Mm. Also, I look like Pam Anderson, so. So it helps. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it so much. Yes. Deep shoulder. She also did this. Oh, yeah. Spicy. Oh, it looks good. You look good. Keep going. Look at the camera, too. And reenacting her, I feel like you did a really good job. Thanks. Yeah. No. They'll let me know in the console how good Adam did because he's bombs, is why I love him. And um, yeah, you can hire him, but you'll never be it. like me. <laughs> Just kidding, no, hire him, he's great. Um, one day I may run out of money and he'll still need to work, so just hire him. Um, but anyways, I love him. Finished look. <laughs> yeah, I look so pretty. This is Trisha's go to for business meetings, <laughs> for grocery shopping. Oh, Literally, like if I want someone to know my image, like this is it. So this I'm sorry it. if you don't see me on public like this, but this is my public image on Instagram. For sure. So anyways, I love you guys. Like if I was Wendy Williams and I had a talk show like this, would be my every day. Yeah. Like, okay, that's what we're doing. So I love it. I it's love you know what you guys, and also always let us know what you guys want to see. Like, yes. Because I don't, I don't really know. We haven't, we don't have another one scheduled. So I don't know whatever you guys want to see. Yeah, maybe something completely different. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah, I don't know. Let us know. We did a relatable one, we did a blackout. Mm -hmm. We did a Bratz one that no one asked for. <laughs> hey, I love it though, it's still good. <laughs> um, all right, follow him at Adam Lee Simmons, follow me at Shepetas, and we'll see you guys in the next video.